Okay, so we want to tell you a little bit about Ergo Baby. Now, Ergo Baby, their mission is to be well ergonomic. It's in the name. And so what that means is to be comfortable for the wearer or the carrier, but then also put your baby at the ideal position to support their growth. And so the way they do that for parent, they have sufficient back support right here, and it's going to sit right on your hips so that it's taking the pressure off your back while carrying, but then also it's very adjustable. So on the back, these straps right here, the strap that connects in the back is adjustable up and down so that you can adjust it in the way that's going to support your back the best. And then the last way they make it comfortable for the wear is these straps right here are going to adjust the tightness of these shoulder straps. And so you're going to be able to get, so depending on your size, the baby size, and how much support you need. Now don't worry, this is a faux baby. so. He can't breathe right now, but that's okay. Um, and so this is gonna make it super comfortable for parent to wear. Now, I personally have used these for long trips and my back rarely gets tired, which is awesome. Now, the way they put the baby at the optimal position is you want baby to be in an ideal seated position, which means their bum is actually going to be lower than their knees. And you wanna make actually kind of an M shape kind of hard to show with Charlie because his legs aren't very long, but you want their legs, their knees to be up here and then their bum to come down, kind of making an M shape. And that's gonna put their hips at the optimal position. Now also you wanna have a nice C curve of their back and you want it to be straight up and down. And so all of these um, requirements are supported by an ergo carrier. And so that's how they got their name, ergo. Now while all these carriers um, have those same characteristics, they're not all created equally. They do have some different features and different abilities. Now a few things to consider when trying to narrow down that decision are, do you want the option of your baby facing out while they're riding on the front? What kind of climate do you live in? Is it hot? Are you very active? And then also, are you planning on carrying your baby starting right at infancy? So that's gonna help you narrow it down, but then we're gonna get into some of those other features of all four carriers. The carriers that we're going to compare today are the original. Now, this is, like it sounds, the original carrier, they've been carrying it for years. The other ones have been added to the line um, over the last few years. Now this is the one that I was just wearing. Then they have the Adapt. This one was designed for infant carry in the 360, and we'll get into those details later. And then the Omni 360. This one has been on the market just a few months. Now to start, I'm gonna go over the prices. This one starts at 120. The Adapt at 145. The 360 is 160. And the 360 Omni starts at 180. One of the main things that sets the carriers apart is the amount of carrying options that you have. Now with the original and the Adapt, you have three carrying options. So you can carry them on the front facing parent, you can carry them on the hip, and you can carry them on the back. Now once you go into the 360 and the Omni 360, you get a fourth carrying position, and that's on the front facing out. Now in order to do that, you do have to adjust there's two little buttons here. You do have to adjust it from the black button to the gray button in order to, for your child to be facing out. And the reason for that is it's giving them a little more room in the hips to reduce um, the possibility of hip dysplasia. So it's putting them at that optimal seating position while facing out. Okay, now all of these have a different weight capacity because of the features. So starting with the original, the weight capacity is 12 to 45 pounds. Now that means you do need an infant insert if you want to start this from infancy. Now with the Adapt, you don't need an infant insert, so this one you can use from 7 to 45 pounds. Now with the 360, this one again, you'll need an infant insert, so the weight limit is 12 to 33 pounds. Now the reason it doesn't have as high of a weight limit of these two is because of these button, buttons here. That's what's gonna give you a fourth position and we'll go into the positions a little bit later, but it can't hold up to 45 pounds. Now with the Omni 360, that weight limit is gonna be seven to 33 pounds because this one is designed to accept an insert or ex accept an infant without the additional insert. Now I'm gonna go into some of the individual features of each carrier. 
Now starting with the original, it does have a couple storage pockets, which not all of them have. So you're gonna have a slip pocket in the front and that one's just for easy access. You can slip your cell phone in there, your keys, whatnot. And then it also has the zipper pocket, which is actually quite large. So that's nice if you need, if you really wanna be hands-free. It also has the shade and that's just going to tuck in this pocket while you're not using it. And then when you are using it, it has snaps that are going to attach to the shoulder straps. And so that one, pretty minimal on the features, but an awesome carrier. All right, now the um, features on the Adapt. So the original had a shade and so does the Adapt, but you're actually going to find it tucked in here which is nice, it's kind of out of the way, you can't see it when you're not using it. But what they also have is a two position head support. So if they are a little bit smaller, you can fold it down. And once they get a little bit bigger and want more head support, you can undo these buttons and flip it up. Just whichever is gonna be more comfortable for you and your child. Now, some cool features on this are actually going to be on the back. So first of all, you have this awesome lumbar support. So this is placed right on the lumbar to give you more back support than the original. You also have, because you can put an infant directly into this carrier, you have these adjustable panels to adjust for the different infant sizes. And so right off the bat with your seven pound baby, you're gonna match up both of these panels with the red and that gives them a smaller seated position to support your infant. Now another cool thing that they have on the Adapt is you have the option of cross back carry, which means you can take your straps and you can actually buckle one in here and buckle one over here. Now some people prefer the cross back I actually don't. I feel like it's a little harder to adjust, but the reason they can do that is because the buckle connectors are on the front. So when you are carrying, or when you're putting it on by yourself, you can actually reach them, just like that. Now, on the other two that do not have the cross back, that's going to be the original and the 360. You can do cross back, but you cannot do it by yourself. You're going to have, um, need another adult to buckle it for you. But because these buckles are on the front, you can do the cross back carry um, without somebody else's help. Okay, now going into the 360. So you do still have a shade. It's cool you have this two position head support, but now your shade is inside that head support. So it's in this little zipper pocket. You can pull it out when you need to use it. Now, um, one of feature, probably my favorite feature, this is the one that you can use um, for that fourth position facing out. But one thing I liked about that execution is this wider, um, waistband. Now it is, it's a two-step, it does have a little buckle, and it is Velcro. As you can see, that's kind of loud. So if you have a sleeping baby, take your baby out before taking the carrier off. But I do like it a lot because it has a nice thick waistband that's going to give you a lot of back support. Now it's really cool that these two have the lumbar support, but this is a really nice option as well. Okay, now the features on the Omni 360. Now this is kind of a love child between the Adapt and the 360. It has all features of both packed into one. This is a great all-in-one carrier if you're not sure how you're going to be using it. This is an op awesome option. Now you have the adjustable for newborns. So you're gonna have that same Velcro system on the back to adjust for bigger and smaller babies. You also, like I mentioned, have the cross body um, shoulder strap option. You have your two position head support. You have your shade tucked right in here. So basically everything that you have in the 360 and the Adapt. And then they also added this cool detachable pouch. So you can have it on there and then when you're not using it or say it's going to with your spouse, you can take, they can take the little pouch. Um, so that's a nice little additional accessory. 
Now, if you still have questions and still need help narrowing down your decision, please email us your questions at hello at babycubby.com or you can leave a comment below and we would love to help you narrow down the decision to buy the right carrier for your needs. Now, my personal opinion. So if I am carrying an infant, I actually prefer to have a wrap or a sling. For me, it's a little bit easier for those little tiny babies. And so I would probably go with a 360 or even the original, but that really does depend on your lifestyle. Like I mentioned, if you're not sure how you're gonna be using it, get the Omni 360 and then all your bases are covered. If you know you're gonna be using it from infancy, I love the Adapt because that has the widest weight capacity because you can use it from infancy all the way up to 45 pounds. So you really do need to narrow down your lifestyle so that you can narrow it down to the carrier that will fit you. Now you do have some additional accessory options on all carriers. So the first one is the teething pads. Now those are gonna attach right here on the strap so that your baby has something to suck on. The nice thing about this is this is gonna preserve your carrier. If your child is sucking on these, you're going to have to wash your carrier more often. Now these are dyed with natural dyes, so it's going to fade over time. If you're just taking those teething pads off, then you're not having to wash your entire carrier, which is great. Now you can also get a weather shield and then there is the um, additional infant insert where needed. So that one you would have to purchase with the original and the 360. Now some other style options are organic and also there are some that are available with mesh paneling for cooler carrying. Now all of these carriers can be purchased on our website at babycubby.com and all of them will ship for free. Now if you found this video helpful and you were able to narrow down the decision, um, that is awesome. That's why we do these videos just for you. Feel free to give us a like and even subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a lot of other reviews, comparisons, um, and please let us know what videos would be helpful for you as a parent.